Revolutionary Greetings. Hoggy Kwadi Shakur coming at you tonight. I wanted to make this real, real quick video because a lot of people ask me questions about what is ancestral venera veneration and what is this so called, you know, I don't really like to say ritual, but in modern terms, that's what it's uh, called to most people and what they know about it. This African, you know, giving thanks to the ancestors and doing your little rituals or whatever um, to, com you know, commemorate your ancestors and, and, and to salute your ancestors and to bring your ancestors forth. And um, this is my little ancestral veneration that I do. So I'm just going to explain it a little bit. For the people who are curious, that be always asking me what you know. What do you do if if you don't pray? You know, like most people pray, most people meditate, a lot of people vibrate. Um, I deal with the ancestral veneration. You know, what I mean, I, I give thanks to my ancestors. I mean, it, it's all it's all the same thing, but I like to do it indigenously. You know, what I mean, so I just stick to the indigenous culture, which is nature. Giving thanks to nature, giving thanks to your creator, and giving thanks to the ancestors is most important because your ancestors are always with you. They're always here. So, you know, you know, evoke them and, and show them love, man. That's what I do. So I'm going to just show you my little ancestral veneration as I'm, I'm rebuilding my altar right now. So it's not in full capacity, but it'll get there because uh, my last one got kind of messed up. So I'm rebuilding my new one. And I'm going to just show y'all what I do as far as paying homage to my ancestors. You know, it's all about bringing them forth and evoking them and giving thanks and showing love to them. That's all you do. You know, you can make your little offerings to them, whatever. So give them some water, libation, uh, fruits. I mean, if you're dealing with the, um, if you're dealing with the Ife, the Ifa, um, you know, you, you can... You know, it depends on what what Arisha you're you know more in in common with and have a connection with. You know what I mean? Because you know Arisha is, is nothing but um, energy forces of nature. So it's like you can do that also. You can give thanks to the Arishas or whatever or whatever Arisha that's your guardian. You know what I mean? Arisha, and um, you can get to make offerings to them also. Um, and things like fruit, food, water, you know. But I, I deal strictly with giving thanks to my ancestors because I know my ancestors is who the shoulders I stand on and, and the ones that's always walking with me. And what do I mean by ancestors? No doubt we we use the word ancestor in all type, you know, in, in, in all types of ways, you know what I mean? We could be talking about the ancestors as far as African people, period, you know what I mean? That that have passed, that have sacrificed their lives for the, you know, struggle of our people. You know what I mean? That's like the overall ancestors. But the ancestors I'm speaking of is your bloodline. Like, the most important thing when you're doing ancestral veneration is your bloodline. It's your bloodline ancestors. And those are the ones that you should be getting in contact with and, and showing respect to and showing love to. And, and, and if you don't really know all of those ancestors it's a part that I was explaining to this queen the other day like you don't have to really know all your ancestors by name because most of the time when you do when I'm doing my ancestor veneration I'm calling out my ancestors names which I'm not going to do in this video because that's my ancestor so there's no need for me to call out their name but I'm still going to show you what's up um it's important to let your ancestors know unknown and known ones that you may know of and you may not know of and you could just bring them forth by just saying all my ancestors who blood that passed through my veins please come forth you know what i mean that's all you got to do if you don't know their names just say the unknown ancestors whose blood pumps through my veins which is your family ancestors you know what i mean so it's like call them forth and and you can kick it with them talk to them you know what i'm saying because they're going to be in the room once you bring them forth and um you can you can bring you can come forth with your problems what you're dealing with you can help them 
you know, you can ask them for help, you know what I mean? You can help them for guidance, you know what I mean? All that. So I'm gonna just go ahead and quickly and show you what I do. And I started reconnecting with as far as me and my ancestral veneration, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna just show y'all real quick what I do. Um, they go like this, you know what I mean? Um, it's basically, it's two words in, um, in the ether. Um, we're dealing with the third dimension and the fourth dimension. Um, the fourth dimension is the is, is the spiritual realm, which is the heavens, the universe, because heaven is another is nothing but a, a metaphor for the universe. So, in Ifa in, in, in Yoruba language, um, the universe or the heavens is called Ikole Orun, which is heavens that's who you that, uh, basically spiritual realm and, and the universe this is where you bring in your ancestors from because that's where they at they're in the ancestral space right now you know what i mean so when you bringing them forth you bringing them into the ecole aye which is the um earth you know what i mean bringing them into the you know bringing them back into the you know the third dimension where we are right now because we're in the third dimension you know what i mean we're on earth you know what i mean so it's like you gotta bring your ancestors first, you know, bring them forth. So, um, this is what I do first, you know, a lot of people, you know, a lot of cats, you know, um, they use sage, you know what I mean? You know what the sage is, the sage is the little sage, you know what I mean? You gotta purify the air first so the ancestors can come through the gateway, you know what I mean? So, I use incense though, because incense is, 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 is ancient, is an, it goes as far as back as antiquity with all our ancient overall ancestral race and ancestral lands you know what I mean so I use incense to um purify my air and to keep the negative forces the negative energies and the negative spirits away from my altar and away from my personal space and gateway when I'm bringing my ancestors forth so this is what I do I like my incense you know what I mean? Like the incense up. When I like this incense, up, I just, I just, you know, I just wave it back and forth across my altar, purifying the air, so my ancestors can come through. You know, the air is one of the most important elements, of the four cardinal points. You know what I mean? So that's what I do. I, I, you know. And then I say let this. I like this incense. Let this ancestor purify my aura, purify my air, so my ancestors can come forth through the gateway. So I'm purifying the gateway so they can come through, keeping all the negative energy and all the negative spirits away. You know what I mean? That's what I do right here. And then I just, you know, you can keep the incense lit or you can put it out, but um, I just leave my incense lit. And when I leave my incense lit, um, I just let the smoke, you know, purify the air some more. And then I get to the part, you know what I mean, where I offer them some water. But first, you know, you got to light your candles, you know what I mean, because the candles is the fire. So the fire is, is what's going to open them gates and bring your ancestors forth, you know what I mean. And then, you know, we use the cigar to... Uh, the last stage of bringing the ancestors forth, you know what I mean, so, light the candles next, and that's the fire that's burning within you, and the fire that's going to ignite, you know what I mean, in a spiritual way, in a spiritual force, one of the elements, another one of the elements, we're dealing with the number four today, the number four is, is symbolic, because it's the four cardinal points, the four elements, you know what I mean, which is fire, earth, air, water, you know what I mean, and um, it's also dealing with your, your four corners of the earth, and the four corners of the multiverse, and the four corners of the universe, you dig, so it's like, we're dealing with the directions, the four, the four directions, which is north, east, west, south, you know what I mean, those are specific and sacred directions, you know what I mean, so, I'm gonna go ahead and do this right quick. First, I light up my white candle, which is the purification candle. 
you know, to set the whole thing off. So I just light my candle. You know what I mean? I say Ajuba. Ajuba, which is blessing in Yoruba language. Ajuba. When I light that candle, um, I light my other three candles up. I, I say my last two white candles for last because I'm the ones that's going to bring my ancestors for if you dig. So I light my other three candles. Ajuba. 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 Bless. So I light them candles up right there. And um, usually I, you know, I do my ancestors with veneration about, you know, when I'm, you know, I come to them anytime I want to, you know what I mean? But it's, it's, it's a specific period that I also observe also which is like every three months on the third third month every three months I, I, I take like seven days out that out that month and I do it straight I, I pay homage to my ancestors seven days straight it's important to do that like that's just this is just the way I do it like seven days out of the every third month I just set this one week out where I just praise my ancestors and bring my ancestors forth and do my ancestral veneration for seven days straight because you know this number seven is also sacred to African people or African spirituality you know what I mean so that's what I do you know what I mean that's my little ritual so um on to the next step which is the like the last two white candles you know what I mean these are the candles that I'm gonna bring my ancestors forth with so I light the candle and be like as I light this candle made a fire from within open up the gateway so my ancestors can come through I light the candle made this can as I light this candle made a fire from within open the gateway for my ancestors to come through and so that's what I do right there, you know what I mean? And um, my ancestors starting to come through, you know what I mean? So it's like, I'm at my stages. So now I'm to the stage where I got to like my last stage of the ancestral veneration, invoking them and bringing them forward with the cigar. I mean, a lot of y'all, you don't got to do that because a lot of y'all probably don't smoke, but I don't smoke neither. So it's like, I just inhale it and blow it out and do what I got to do to open that gateway so my ancestors come for so I can chop it up with them. So, um, that's what I do. Light up the cigar. You know, the cigar is, is symbolic dealing with African spirituality and dealing with the Orishas and dealing with, you know, indigenous spiritual systems when you pay homage to your ancestors or the Orishas. That smoke you pull in, you pull in the end from within and when you blowing that smoke in, that's your your ancestors, you know what I mean? When you blow it back out, you open up that gateway for your ancestors, you dig? So, that's what I do right here, you know what I mean? I light up the cigar. That's the most important part to bring my ancestors for. Light up the cigar. When I light up the cigar, it's the four steps, man, to bring your ancestors for. If I go like this, I blow, I blow up, blow left, blow right, blow down. And what that is... When you blow up, you bring your ancestors forth from the universe, the four dimensions of the universe. When you blow it left, you bring your ancestors forth from the four dimensions of the bitch slash ocean, the uh, primordial waters. And um, when I blow it to the right, you know what I mean? That's 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 bringing them forth from the fourth multiverse, you know what I mean? Into the third dimension. And when I blow it down, the most important. The sacred part is the earth. I'm bringing my ancestors back out that dirt, out that earth, you know what I mean, from the inner core of the earth, mama earth, and I'm bringing them forth from the four dimensions of the inner earth, man. You know what I mean? So here we go. Here we go. When my ancestors come forth from the four dimensions of the universe. When my ancestors come forth from the four dimensions of the abyss slash ocean primordial waters. Now my ancestors come forth from the fourth multiversal dimension. May my ancestors come forth from the fourth dimensions of the inner earth. Now they're here. They're in the room with me. 
as I love to put the cigar out. Some people leave the cigar on. I, leave, I, I put my cigar out because it smoke. You know what I mean? The ancestors up in here now. And, um, once you got, once you get done with that part, you know what I mean. You greet your ancestors, and um, and when you greet them, you know, this what I use the Yoruba word, a Juba blessings. Um, and you know, you ask your ancestors. You know, you just talk to them normal like you were talking amongst yourself with your somebody that passed away and transitioned into the ancestral realm. You know what I mean? You ask them how they doing or whatever. But, you know what I mean? This is what I do first. You know what I mean? You make an offering. I make an offering with the water. And you tell the ancestors, you know what I mean? I hope this water gives you uh, uh, the hydration and, and hopes this water cools you. And... Hope you're satisfied with this cup of water that I'm offering to you. So, I'd be like, ancestors, may you accept this water. Or either you can pour a libation out for them right here on the floor or wherever you at. And I'd be like, ancestors, may you accept this water. I hope this water uh, hydrates you and I hope this water satisfies you. And you, give, you put it on the altar or whatever. And let the water evaporate and let them suck that water up for the next 24 hours, 48 hours. And, um... Once you make the offering, you, you, this is what I do my next days is I, I call each one of my ancestors' name out. And when I call out each one of my ancestors, the transition, I say their name like three times to bring them forth, which I ain't going to do right now because that's what I do personally. But um, once I start naming them off, I'm naming them off and um, telling them to come forth. And once they come forth, they're in the room. You know what I mean? And um, once they're in the room, you can, you know, come to them with your problems. You can do a little prayer with them and um, tell them you love them. And um, you just break down the four steps. You you can ask them for guidance, ask them for, you know, wisdom, um, courage. Um, the most important is guidance. I might have already said that, but um, you can ask them for strength. Ask them to help you with your problems that you're going through, whether it's financial whether it's your health, um, anything that's 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 affecting you and your, you know what I'm saying, your in your life. But it's really, it's really, you know, getting the power from them to to come forth to give you the strength and to walk with you to handle any of your problems because it all deals with self. Because the self is the most important thing that's important when you're dealing with the ancestors of veneration and trying to help get your problems fixed man but you gotta do it yourself you, you just can't ask the ancestors for their help and don't do nothing you know what I mean once you you know what I mean seek their guidance and all that and, and bring forth your problems with them um you gotta get on that mission man you know what I mean self determination and, and handle no problems and, and, and let the other part of that situation that the ancestors play they have for one let them handle that they gonna handle that you know what i mean the ancestors are gonna be there with you man you're gonna get the strength from them. this is where i get my strength from you know what i mean it, it don't make no sense for me to go ask nobody else you know what i'm saying for anything that i need when i know i got people who transition you know what i mean who blood who pumps through my veins and i can call on them you know what i mean I ain't gonna call on no foreign gods. I ain't gonna call on no foreign deities. You know what I mean? I'm gonna call on my blood-related ancestors who died. You know what I mean? And some of your ancestors died for you. You know what I mean? So it's like get in tune with your ancestors, man. Is what I'm basically trying to tell you. So um, after you do that, you know what I mean? You kick it with them. You know what I mean? You can play music with them, talk. You know, just chill with your ancestors, man. Chop it up. You can drink with them. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing wrong with taking a little sip of some wine or some liquor or whatever and just chop it up with your ancestors you know what I mean and um once you do that you know what I mean you can leave your candles lit and just meditate like a lot of people meditate like I meditate sometimes you know what I mean I don't do it all the time but sometimes I just sit here and just let the candles burn and just you know watch this you know watch the incense smoke and I can see the ancestors playing with the incense smoke you know what I mean it's real deep, man. It's all about the mind. You know what I mean? If you really love your ancestors, you know what I mean? You're going to believe in, in, in them being there with you, man. Because I know my ancestors are around me all the time. 
You know what I mean? Especially my brother. So I always salute him. You know what I mean? And my other blood-related ancestors that I might not know of. You know what I mean? And once you call them out, and once you, you know call them all here by name or whatever, and um, that's when you ask. You know what I'm saying? You, you do the part where if you don't know the ancestors' names that passed away, you don't know none of the people that passed. We just say, you know, may my unknown and my known ancestors come forth who blood pumped in my vein, like I told you earlier. And wants to hear, you know, just chop it up, man. As you can see, that's my altar right here. I'm going to step back for a second. It's my altar, you know what I mean? I got to get some more candles or whatever, you know what I mean? And some more, you know, African cultured up artifacts, some relics, you know, to fill it out. But, you know, I got all my traditional stuff, my beads, stuff my ancestors had. And, yeah, and last name before I said the video, you know, put pictures up of your ancestors that passed away on your on your, you know, shrine, your altar, and put them anywhere all over your shrine, you know what I mean? And um, I got the blade with the red, black, and green on it. That's symbolizing Ogun, you know what I'm saying? Ogun, or the Orishas, you know what I mean? So it's like, you can decorate your shrine with the Orishas, you know what I mean? Because you can also give thanks to them or your specific guardian Orisha that you are connected with, but, you know what I mean? So I just want to say, Give thanks to the Ifa, you know what I mean? Give thanks to the Rishas, give thanks to the Creator, Allah Dumari. And um, most important, give thanks to my ancestors, man. You know what I mean? I love my ancestors. So this is just my little short video I'm messing around with showing y'all my ancestor veneration, man. So I'm going to sign off right here. And um, don't forget to pour that libation out. And don't forget, you know what I'm saying, to salute your ancestors. Because that's what it's all about, man. They, they're here with you, man. So, I'm going to sign off right here, man. Much love. Boy Hockey Quality Shakur. You know what I mean? Get thanks to your ancestors. I shake. I'm out. 100.